I am Kimberly and welcome to another episode of Heritage TV. In a few moments, we'll be exploring the Battle Box. Once an emergency bomb-proof command centre during the Battle of Singapore, it was in this bunker, just down the road here, that the British decided to surrender Singapore to the Japanese on February 15, 1942. Previously used as the Combined Operations Headquarters for British Commander Arthur Percival, this bunker was later taken over by the Japanese forces during the occupation. This underground complex capable of recycling its own air supply consists of 22 rooms. Upon walking in, we heard a loud explosion followed by a voice of a British soldier who yelled at us to close the doors. That sudden state of panic was rather unsettling at first, but certainly helped heighten the wartime experience. This switchboard room was the communication centre during the war. Other methods such as Morse code and the telegram were also used. The complex is left in its original condition. Seen were scattered documents and tangled wires left in disarray, as though the people were still at work. This is a reflection of the urgency felt during that time of war. Even the wartime graffiti is still visible. These were written by the Japanese soldiers when they occupied the bunker after taking it over from the British. War involves much planning and these wax figurines certainly look serious. But jokes aside, much thought went into plotting war strategies. This is the room where the British planned sea and air operations in Malaya. Here we see General Percival discussing the impending British surrender. This crowded room was the actual place where the British made that crucial decision on the fateful morning of February 15, 1942. With food and water supplies running low, the officers were left with little choice but to surrender unconditionally to the Japanese. These wax figurines and the dialogue between Percival and his men were portrayed here as accurately as possible. In view of the general unsatisfactory administrative position and the critical water shortage, I have decided to accept the advice of the senior officers present and to surrender. I can't say that I like it, gentlemen, and I pray that God may have mercy on us all. To give visitors a broader perspective of the war, a small museum is located at the end of the tour. On February 15, 1942, the British surrendered. No records exist of what became of the bunker during the occupation years. In 1945, when the Japanese surrendered, the bunker was returned to British hands and they sealed it off from all activities. Newspaper clippings, pictures of war atrocities as well as artefacts uncovered during the site excavation are featured. We have witnessed the bravery of soldiers and civilians at the Battle Box today. While we may never fully comprehend the sufferings of the war, museums like the Battle Box serve as a reminder to people that the freedom we enjoy today was paid for in the blood of thousands of Allied soldiers. If you'd like to be part of this wartime experience, do look out for War on Wheels, a special tour organised by NHB and Yesterday.sg. More details will be announced on this site. For Heritage TV, I'm Kimberly, and I'll see you next time.